When you think of skyscrapers, Moscow isn't the first name that comes to mind. Maybe you think of New York, Tokyo, or Seoul, but Moscow isn't on that list because you may think it doesn't have many skyscrapers. In reality, five out of the ten tallest skyscrapers in the entirety of Europe exist in this one relatively smaller part of Moscow, and that is the Moscow International Business Center, more conveniently known as the MIBC or Moskva City. It is a massive construction undertaken in the heart of Moscow. This location is in an abandoned neighborhood next to a riverbank that has now been transformed into a beautiful urban metropolis. Join us today as we explore this unique skyscraper hub that is reshaping the Moscow skyline. How did MIBC come to be? In 1991, renowned Soviet architect Boris Tor suggested building a commercial hub in Moscow, which was to be called Moscow City. It would have shiny skyscrapers on par with those in New York and London, reflecting the new vitality and rising goals of post-Soviet Russia. To put it simply, this massive undertaking started with the intention of creating a landmark for the new Russia. The government of Russia was eager to prove to the rest of the world that Moscow belonged among the world's leading financial hubs, but they needed something to show for it, which ended up being the MIBC. The construction on this project was expected to be finished by 2007, but investors kind of lost interest in it, and the whole process slowed down considerably. Even now, it's not completed entirely, as there are still plans to build more skyscrapers in the area. The original plan for MIBC included 22 skyscrapers and many government offices. The current economic climate has necessitated a modification in these strategies. Currently, MIBC consists of 15 buildings, 20,000 parking spaces, and 100-plus restaurants and cafes. These numbers don't really indicate an international tourist attraction just yet, but this skyscraper hub gets nearly 200,000 visitors a year and the numbers keep increasing. The project was initially managed by the City Joint Stock Company which was founded in 1992 as a partnership between the Russian government and private investors. To begin construction, a 100-hectare area on the Krasnopresnenskaya embankment was set aside. To be more precise, the area between the Third Ring Road and the Moskva River in western Moscow was selected as the location. The area had once housed a stone quarry and an industrial district that had fallen into disrepair. The land was originally split into 20 portions and grouped in a horseshoe configuration around a center zone. Buildings would spiral outward from a central core, with the tallest ones facing the river, and the shoreline would be lined by lower structures. Many renowned architects from across the globe flocked to Moscow to see their designs for Moscow City come to life, but the whole project was predominantly led by architect Gennady Sirota, who had previously worked on landmark buildings like the Olympic Sports Complex in Moscow's Prospect Mira. After completion, we should expect 2.5 million square meters of new office, retail, and residential space, hotels, parking for 30,000 automobiles, a massive public square, sports and recreation facilities, an aquapark, and a new 230,000 square meter city hall. Before we continue, if you would like to learn more about billion-dollar construction projects around the world, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. Buildings of this size don't come cheap. We don't have an official source to state the entire price of the project, but we could easily speculate it to be around $19 billion. This is because the official cost of the One Tower is around $800 million, while the construction cost of the City of Capitals Tower cost a little more than $1 billion. Considering that there are 17 more buildings in the area so far of similar stature, we can average out a value of $1 billion per building. For context, the Burj Khalifa cost $1.5 billion and the famous Shanghai Tower cost around $2.5 billion to construct, so you can see how big of an investment this is. While we're on the topic of towers, let's look at a few of the best in the MIBC. At 360 meters in height, the Federation Tower stands as the second highest skyscraper in Europe after the Lakta Center in St. Petersburg, Russia. 
The Federation Tower Complex consists of two skyscrapers built on one podium in the 13th plot in MIBC. The taller east tower is named Vostok and the shorter tower in the west is named Zapad. The construction of the complex commenced in 2005, but due to the Great Recession in 2008 and a lack of funding, the project came to a halt. It recommenced in 2011 and the project was finally completed in 2017. Vostok was designed to house offices, retail areas, a five-star hotel, and luxury apartments. The OKO Tower is also a complex of two towers, with the Southern Tower being 354 meters tall with 85 stories, while the Northern Tower is 254 meters tall with 49 stories. The Southern Tower once stood as the tallest skyscraper in Russia and all of Europe, until it was surpassed by the neighboring Vostok Tower. Currently, it is the third tallest tower in all of Europe. Its observation deck and roof patio on the 86th level make it the highest restaurant in Europe. Also, you will find the highest skating rink in Europe on the roof of the South Tower. With its unique spiraling shape, the Evolution Tower has taken a prominent place in Moscow City skyline. It is located on plots 2 and 3 of MIBC. Its exterior is a work of architectural genius, with its spiraling ribbons of curved glass stretching up into the sky, quite like the shape of DNA. The 55-story office building has a height of 246 meters and a total area of 169,000 square meters. Currently, the skyscraper is the 12th tallest building in Russia and the 20th tallest building in Europe. The Evolution Tower earned a second place title in the Empora Skyscraper Awards competition in 2015 for the world's best skyscraper, and in the same year, it was voted Moscow's best office building. At 340 meters tall, the Mercury City Tower stands out from the rest of the skyscrapers in MIBC due to its golden copper color. The construction of the tower topped out in November 2012, overtaking the neighboring City of Capitals building as the tallest building in Europe. The Mercury City Tower held the record as the tallest building in Europe from late 2012 to the summer of 2014, after which it was surpassed by the South Tower of the neighboring OKO complex. At present, it is the fifth tallest building in Europe. Architect Frank Williams claims that Mercury City Tower is the first environmentally friendly skyscraper in Russia, as it features high-tech systems to regulate energy usage. Some other notable skyscrapers in MIBC are Imperia Tower, Eurasia Tower, Neva Towers, and Nabarizhnaya Tower. Although not a skyscraper, the Bagration Bridge deserves a mention as a prominent construction in the MIBC. This commercial bridge connects the Tower 2000 in MIBC with one of the main streets of Moscow called Kutuzovsky Prospect across Moscow River. Inside the bridge there is a pedestrian zone and trade rows with panoramic windows overlooking the city and the Moscow River. These are just a few of the amazing constructions harbored in the heart of Moscow. Currently, there are only two towers left to be built before the entire skyscraper hub is completed. What do you think of this mega project? Comment your thoughts below and let us know. Thank you for watching and see you soon with another video.